GM, how are you, everyone? So happy to be here and to um, speak about a, a topic that a lot of the community was very excited about having today. I um, I was really surprised after seeing the reaction of the community when we mentioned that we were going to have a space dedicated to the Giveth House, this awesome place, office, home, uh, located in Barcelona, that has been available since 2017 to, to host the greater Giveth community. And it's really cool because we're not only going to talk about the Give It House, but also um, an event that recently happened at the house called Eat Gathering with Jess and Tadeo that, that are here already. And also share uh, how are the ways that the broader community can support the house and, and why it's really, really important to, to support the house. So I believe we are all here, all the people that's going to participate in this in this space. Plus, Maffer, that's great to have you here because you've been in the house a ton of times. So um, cool. Let's start with a round of introductions. Uh, what do you do and how are you related to the Giveth House? Uh, Griff, you were the one. You were the first to jump in. So I would love to, to hear uh, first about you. Yeah, well, um, I'm a founder, co-founder of Giveth and started the Giveth House in Barcelona so that we could kind of build a community there, an in real life community there. And uh, we actually, yeah, and so I, we started it in a different location than it is now. We moved and, and uh, but it's really, I guess, my, um, my baby in a sense. And, uh, but I am not there all the time. I'm fully nomadic. So we always have a steward and uh, right now we have probably the best steward we've ever had. His name is Franco. He's amazing. Uh, and he's done so much great work for our house. And I, I guess I'll pass it to you, Franco, to introduce yourself. Thank you, Griff. Uh, yeah. So my name is Franco. I'm the steward at the Giveth house right now. Uh, I don't know if I'm the best, like we had before, we had Arnau, uh, which he also was a, a really, really, really good steward of the house. So yeah, I don't want to take all the credit, but yeah, so I've been the steward here since uh, February this year, but I met the Giveth House last year through a common friend that I, uh, that me and Griff have. And eventually when Arnau, the last tour left, Griff offered me to be the steward here at the house and here I am. Of course, it was a no-brainer. Like the, the the house is amazing, and it's an amazing space to take care of. So I'm I'm really happy to be here. And I don't know. Uh, should I pass it to someone? Yes, please. Okay, I'll pass it to Jess. I'll pass it to you. GM Jess. Oh. Oh, oh, sorry. You know what? I, sorry, it's been a while since I've used Twitter Spaces. I'm like waiting for like the the mute to go off, um, but it didn't. I, I got to do that myself. Um, thanks, Franco. You are a fantastic steward, by the way. Um, uh, but my name is Jess. I'm one of the organizers um, for Eat Gathering, and I have been building prototypes and communities in the crypto space since 2017. And ETH Gathering has been the last kind of project that I've been working on. Um, and it was really awesome, really excited to get into that. Um, maybe I'll pass it off to Tadeo first to introduce himself. Hey, everyone. Uh, Hey, Tadeo, do you want to introduce yourself? Maybe mention um, who are you and why or how, in which ways are you related to the Giveth House? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can hear me, right? I can hear you, but really, uh, like, low. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I'll try my best. Um, so I, I'm one of the other organizers for ETH Gathering. 
Um, during the day, I lead the data analytics team uh, at MakerDAO. Uh, and my connection was um, through the conference that uh, we co-introduced to, to Franco and the team at Giveth. Um, and we were able to host people there, which is a fantastic, fantastic experience. Nice. Thank you so much, Dale. And then, Mafer, do you want to introduce yourself? And in which ways are you related to the Gibbeth House? Sure. Uh, thank you for the impromptu <laughs> invitation. But, uh, but yeah, um, I am one of the gardeners of the Trusted Seed, uh, was part of a common stack. And, and of course, uh, the Gibbeth House uh, received me or... Yeah, <laughs> um, opened uh, the uh, it, um, doors for me when I was traveling for my first uh, ETH events, and and of course the sense of family I, I got there was uh, uh, very special, and that made me came back <laughs> for another month uh, later. But um, but yeah, um, I part of the galaxy. And, and I'm part of the Give It House family. And I love Franco. We all love Franco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. We all agree that he's just a great um, steward. So um, I would love to start uh, to talk about how actually the house started, what was the idea behind having a space like this dedicated to um, the solar punk community, the Web3 and blockchain for for a good community. Um, a lot of people agree that it's really important to have a physical space like this to, to gather the community and uh, for all of us to get together. But how did this actually start, Griff, if you would like to, to share this story with us? Honestly, uh, yeah. It's funny because we had a... Um, Giveth had a gathering in 2017 in in berlin and we had to pay for an airbnb and it was just really expensive uh it was really expensive we had to coordinate we had to buy whiteboards we had to you know set up the space so that it could be a productive gathering for the giveth team and it just seemed like kind of a a waste uh, in, a little bit and so we decided to make uh because like even we needed this large space for like whiteboards and co-working and then um but only a few people could really sleep there and then we also needed to get uh hotels or other airbnbs for it and so it's just like wow when when it was all said and done it was like five six thousand dollars to run this retreat not including flights and all that and um it was like wow you know in Barcelona, where a lot of our team was at the time, we could just rent a house and we would have it for four months for the cost of this. And so that kind of brought into this idea, well, let's just build a space that can save a lot of people who are in the Impact DAO space this money uh, so that if they want to meet in person, they can do that in a place that already has the whiteboards, already has great internet, uh, you know, it has people there that care about crypto and and has beds for them to sleep and work together. Uh, so that kind of inspired the the Giveth House initiative. And we, we first had a house really close to Sagrada Familia, which was fun. Uh, you could walk outside and walk just a block and a half and you're like, uh, you know, in the shadow of this giant, massive, um, you know, international world wonder, basically. So um, it was really, uh, really cool. But then uh, the way it was, uh, the way we were managing the house, our neighbors, even though we told them we're not running an Airbnb and that everyone who's coming, they're sleeping for free. We're not charging them. It's just a, it's a community gathering place. They just didn't believe us. And the management, because it's such a touristy area, the food wasn't very good. Uh, the, the management thought we were running an Airbnb. They're harassing us all the time uh, about things. And uh we just we decided to find an even better spot in a more in a neighborhood that really really um, 
showed off our values more. It was like a more anarchist, uh, like Catalan independence motivated uh, area where there's a bunch of squats and, and those kind of vibes over in Stamps. And so we moved out there and have been uh, managing this really cool space ever since. So that's kind of, wow. yeah, that's how it started. I love it. And actually, that was one of my next questions. Why why Barcelona? You already mentioned that that's because a lot of the team, and I think that that's something that happened still now, are in, in Barcelona. But I'm curious to know why do, do actually a lot of the Web3 community is based in Barcelona? If you, if you maybe know what, what, what some of the reasons behind this, this uh, phenomenon. I mean, it's very simple. I, I don't know of another peaceful revolution happening in the world right now, uh, bigger than in Catalonia. Uh, it's it, honestly, it's um, the independence movement. We actually had the Giveth House uh, before the independence, before the vote, but um, there was uh, the the underlying current of like we can do better than the Spanish government or, but then the government is just, it's just nowhere, nowhere is it stronger than Barcelona. And that's always been the mission of Giveth from the very beginning, even though, you know, it may not look like it, it looks like we're just, oh, we're just a charity platform. Our goal is to build systems better than governments and to be surrounded by um, a community who has that need desperately that when they vote for independence, the Spanish government comes in and actually beats them uh, and steals the ballots uh, and they don't have a voice and they, they, they need some, they want something desperately better than governments. There's really just not a better place to be. And so um, by being there, we were able to also support the uh, web three community there that is uh, very allied with the cause behind Giveth. So uh, like uh, Vokdoni has been using the Giveth house as an office for the last several years. And Vokdoni has been building scalable uh, voting systems, like anonymous voting systems that are better than anything else that we have in the crypto space, in my opinion. And so it's like an honor to be able to support them and give them a space to gather in real life. Uh, they, they very much came out of the um, Catalan independence movement. Uh, also Jordi Bellina and uh, other, other um, early Giveth community members uh, are very active in the Catalan independence movement. And so they have a space to gather and talk about that, uh, which just brings high vibes. Uh, so it, it kind of has a multi, multiple purposes, right? It's good for team gatherings, for impact DAOs and, and other groups in the space to just come in and not have to give all their money to Airbnb, but they can instead, you know, um, become part of the Giveth community. Uh, and, uh, you know, the Catalan independence movement, uh, at least the, the very technical Web3 side of it, also has a place to kind of hang out and um, talk about things. I love it. And, and especially to hear this, because I think that's, This is something that not a lot of people know and and just listen to the reasons to have a house in Barcelona, the, the, the community that gathers there, the importance of being in the center of a really political active uh, place. All of those things are are important to mention and to share with with the community to to really value uh, a place like this, just just to always having mind all the all the reasons uh for this place to be the way that it is and uh, i don't know a lot of people that that's here actually right now listening we've been in the house and it's not only a, a really um beautiful space it has a lot of things that that make it really comfortable uh, a really nice terrace Uh, different floors 
I think that through through time, the community and all the people taking care of, of this space uh, have made sure to make it as comfortable, as nice as possible to not only have a, a place to co-work and gather, but also to, to enjoy, to be in. And with, with this in mind, speaking about the nice things that, that the house um, has, I would love to ask you, Franco, and maybe Jess and Maffer, that, that you, you've been there already. What do you say that people actually enjoy the most about, about the house? Maybe just like gathering, co-work, or maybe the kitchen, because we, we all love to eat, right? So I don't know. What, what would you say, Franco, is what some of the things that people enjoy? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Like, uh, apart from like uh, the the house being like huge because it's a uh, it's a huge space. There's like different like areas where you can co work and stuff. I guess that what people really like about like coming here is like the the homey like feeling that it has. You know, like the vibe. It's kind of uh, it's kind of nice because it doesn't feel like this uh, cold place. Like it has like this whole. I don't know, like you said, like every people that come also like contribute and they put like their own kind of like thing to the house. Like maybe they'll bring like a gift from wherever they're from or where they're coming from. And like uh, the house is like all these like little things that have been like adding up from people that been coming by. And it has like a really homey feeling. I think this is something that that people really enjoy. And I think you can feel it as well. It's something that you feel when you come into the house. Um, I think that's that's very nice. I don't know. Maybe Maffer can share. Like she's been like, uh, I don't know. Like Maffer has stayed here for a really long time. Is one of the persons that I don't know. Like I, I felt like family when she was here. I was like, oh my god. Like this is my little sister. Like I feel like hang with her like uh, all the time. It's it's super cool. Maffer, do you do you want to share your experience? What did you enjoy the most? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I I ran out of my European visa. <laughs> the Give It House, <laughs> but <laughs> or thanks to the Give It House because it was the feeling uh, of not wanting to leave, uh, and it it wasn't like um, when you travel. Of course, uh, the the places, the cities, the 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 countries, the 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 whole experience of traveling uh, makes it hard to leave. Of course, but definitely was the the house a uh, very par a big part of, of of that feeling. Uh, for me, I arrived to the house after my first event, ETH, ETH, Ethereum event in in Rio de Janeiro. So it was the 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 feeling of of getting somewhere to to rest for for a few days. Uh, that was back in uh, in April. And and then I, I got to meet uh, the rest of, of the 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 people that are, are always there in the house. Uh, but but for me the the favorite part of the house must be the, the kitchen, of course. <laughs> but not 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 just because we're always eating, uh, not necessarily that. But definitely uh, learning from everyone's uh, stories and special projects. I feel like anytime someone cross the door at the at the give it house they have a some amazing project or they are working on an amazing idea or uh, they are mind uh, brilliant minds and it is amazing to 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 be at, at the kitchen and 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 see the first face that comes out out of the of the door and, and to greet them and to talk and, and learn from people from all over the world uh, different backgrounds and for me going for the first time to the give it house was like oh I'm going to my my works house right like <laughs> I, I need to be professional or I need to be like maybe so it's like a hotel where I, I need to have some protocols uh, but it was completely different I was uh, I was there to actually learn in a very chill way, uh, with uh, incredible people to laugh, to to get to, to play. Uh, I I didn't do as much tourism as I wanted in Barcelona, but it was because the feeling of, of feeling at, at my at at my home, uh, at the guild house. So, uh, yeah, that's part of my experience, and definitely uh, my favorite part. It, it would be greeting new people uh, every week. Uh, in the kitchen and and have great conversations. 
That's yeah. cool. You, yeah, I agree that the kitchen is a, is a, is a great place. And I'm, I'm curious to, to hear from Jess and Tadeo what would be your favorite experiences. And, and especially I'm curious to listen as maybe myself, Maffer, Franco, of course, Griff, we, we're, we're part of this, this galaxy. And, and you just hosted a, a, an event at the Give It House. So your experience and, and for sure uh, your vision was different. What, what would you say it was some of the things that you really enjoy or you saw the people enjoy the most? So, so, so the question is like, what did people enjoy the most? Um, well, I, I think... Well, I'll just share a little bit. Um, ETH Gatherings was kind of um, originally just designed to support clusters of, or groups around like whatever relevant themes um, are happening in the blockchain or crypto space um, at any given time. So, so to break that down into an example, um, chain security and securium from the security track really led the development of the security track, like the panels, the invitations. Um, and that was done in a very flat, horizontal, almost decentralized way. Um, and, and the reason I'm sharing that or, or why this is relevant to Giveth is, you know, being, being at, uh, in the Giveth space, it's kind of like, it's, it's not like, it's not exactly a home. It's not exactly work, but it's like kind of this third space where, you, you know, you get invited because you hear about it through friends or word of mouth or because you stumble across it somewhere and, you know, people can come and participate in like in many different ways. So like by donating, uh, you know, by toilet paper, to toilet paper to give with house or, you know, Maybe you can you can stay there, but it's not specifically defined. Um, ETH gathering kind of has a similar ethos around you know supporting any ideas that people inside the uh, the community that came and participated in the event might have for the conference, and then supporting them with you know helping them develop their ideas or or whatever. Um, expertise skills and you know that that kind of came in many different ways you know maybe I don't know if the Give It House has volunteers um, or they have just people that donate or you know exactly how it works and maybe we'll get into that uh, later on in, in your business model but like it's kind of like um, yeah there, there's just many different ways to participate and I, I think one of the main reasons that we chose to um, chose to to start this partnership with you guys is because um of a kind of similar ethos we're in participation um and yeah so that's that's my answer today do you want to add anything no no that, that was perfect yeah thanks just actually i i was going to ask you why uh you choose the house but you you already answered that the uh, oh. question oh gotcha um uh yeah but sorry then the experience you want to know a little bit about the experience people had there sure i would love to i would love to know a little bit more first you mentioned it gathering was conferences yeah. but if you can explain a little bit uh more what it actually was gotcha yeah and then, yeah and then wh what role in this it gathering event the give it house played right Guys, totally, totally forgot to provide context on that. So ETH Gathering is a conference that, um, that's been created to really support the ecosystem. This year, the themes that were picked were in DeFi security, DAOs, and, and data. Um, and um, it exists to bring groups of people together inside of those domains so that they can interact, share, innovate together. Um, in whatever in whatever it is that they're dealing with, like that actually happened at the ETH Gathering House, which was awesome. Um, we'll get into that later, but like teams got to connect on whatever ideas they are or whatever protocols or whatever strategies they have, and that all happened at the Giveth House. So that's why the partnership between ETH Gathering and the Giveth House existed. Um, we had a conference that was two days, uh, two weeks. Two, now two weekends ago um, and the week leading up to the conference 
uh, the Giveth House was generous enough in providing that space for uh, the teams coming in for the conference to, to be together in that space. Love it. Uh, thank you for that context. And um, just for the people that just join, and because we are almost in the first um, half of the hour, I would love to welcome to everyone that's here listening to this Twitter space around the Giveth House, this solar punk heaven. I love that description. I didn't. I don't remember where I li I read it, but I I think that's true. For this solar punk heaven, that's an office, that's a house, it's a community space located in Barcelona. We're here talking with grief with Franco, which is the steward of, of the Giveth House, and with Tadeo and Jess that organized recently eat gatherings that actually happen, happened at the Giveth House. So this this just um, tells us that it's not only a space uh, to host people, but also it can have some different events happening. And that would be my next question for Griff and Franco, if you would like to add something. How, how can actually the community organize an event at the house? Because I also know that uh, especially talking about the Web3 space, it's important to count with privacy, with count with security. So I would love to to maybe listen how, how, can, how can people can organize or not, or what would be the process for this? Yeah, I'd, I, I'll definitely pass it to Franco when uh, after I, I give my piece on it. But uh, the you know, I, something something that uh, the speaker before was saying. Uh, for some reason, I don't see her name up here anymore. Um, she she uh, she was mentioning that it's like, uh, what is the Giveth House business model? Well, we don't really have one. We're a nonprofit. We're a community house. We are. We are just uh, uh, trying to be a public good for the the like regen movement in crypto, and so the only rule is that you leave the place better than you found it. And uh, so people buy toilet paper, people donate on Giveth uh, if they want to contribute financially to the rent and these sorts of things. Uh, but the the real goal is just to be uh, to be there for communities that want to use it that need the space. And, and so if you want a space, you really, if, if you have an event in Barcelona, um, you know, during, <laughs> of course, Giveth gets priority. So like during East Barcelona, for instance, I think we had 20 plus Givethers uh, staying at the Giveth house. And then we overflowed a 10 more into a hostel nearby. So like, you know, it doesn't always work during the big gatherings of like the big Ethereum conferences that happen in Barcelona. But if you're going to throw a team gathering or a local team gathering, you really just need to coordinate it with Franco in advance. And uh, we would love to in welcome you in. And, and, you know, if you consider the cost of an Airbnb and that sort of thing, if, if you can, buy something nice for the house or, you know, make sure that the house is clean when you leave. You don't, it's not an Airbnb. It's really a, a community house. And so you have to like kind of, you know, be a good roommate basically is the expectation. Um, wash one extra dish, these sorts of things. Uh, and then you can uh, enjoy Barcelona. Uh, the other weird, funny thing is about the Giveth House is, you know, crypto is kind of a, a scary place to be fully like open about your bill, your address and things like that. So we try not to share the address publicly. Uh, and so it's it's kind of has like a... Um, what do you call those things? Like a speakeasy vibe, you know, there's like, there's a secret door in Barcelona that no one really knows about unless you know someone who knows someone who tells you about it. And then once you get through that door, you're in this magical space that uh, you couldn't, you couldn't have known it existed. There's a sauna. Uh, it's, you know, Ethereum miners are paying or used to pay the rent before EIP 1559, uh, <laughs> you know, and these sorts of things. Like it, it's a, it's a, it's kind of like a, a magic, spot just like through this door that no one knows about uh but yeah maybe franco you could add you could add to this yeah you, you pretty much uh like summarize everything but but yeah like the house is always open to like uh new proposals like if you want to host here an event like we've had different uh, organizations like dab 
or Dorg that uh, they hosted here. They're like off sites. Uh, and yeah, like it's always open. Like I'm, I'm always open. We, I have an open mind. We can always talk about it and like see what we can organize. Um, there's definitely like a big community here in Barcelona, like you mentioned before, Almond. And well, this was like the first event since I'm here in the house that was happening at the house. But I'm definitely like thinking about opening open it to to the community here in Barcelona as well, because I know that there's a an active community that's uh, regularly like doing meetups and stuff. Uh, like there's another hub here, like a crypto hub in Barcelona, which is uh, Agasha. And they're having a conference there in a couple of days as well. So maybe we're, we start doing a little bit more activities here in the house. Like it's the perfect space. So yeah, if anyone's interested or you know someone that they want to organize uh, a small gathering for their team, uh, this is the perfect space. So get in, get in contact with me. <laughs> Yeah, and, and you know, it's a free place to sleep. It's a free place to sleep in Barcelona. Like, how nice is that? We're really low close. It's easy to um, get to the L1. Like, it's a block away for from an L1 stop. Uh, like, the, the metro, I mean. And uh, it's actually a one, well, like maybe a $2 bus ride from the airport uh, into town. Like, it's... Um, It's pretty sweet, especially for the people who are in the regen movement during the bear market. You know, you need a place, a work retreat for a week or two. Like, we would love to host you, and you just have to leave the place better than you found it. Um, yeah. Exactly. Cool. Thanks, Franco. Thanks, Griff. Um, just, so they all, how was how was the experience with communicating with the people that actually uh, was using the house during its gathering to work? Um, how was how was them donating to the house? Did, did, do you think that they were receptive? How how your community and the people that was at its gathering take all all this vibe around contribute and this community spirit that that is all around the Giveth house? Well, I think everybody like that came uh, for the ETH gathering was uh, pretty receptive with everything. Like a lot of people got interested in to give it. Some of them like already knew the project, and some of them didn't. And I've actually like met really cool projects that we're partnering uh, with right now. So yeah, it was it was amazing. There there was a lot of people that was also surprised by this space because like Chris said, you know, like this is a space that. It's a magic door that only if you know somebody that knows about this, like uh, uh, you'll know it. So because we're not like a public space, uh, we are, but we are not. <laughs> but, but yeah, like I think everybody enjoyed it a lot, uh, and yeah, we got a lot of donations, and people were super, super clean. This is something that I want to that I didn't say to Jess and Tadeo, but like I was amazed by the, the the state of the house when the gathering was finished. I was like, everything's so clean. Like I, everybody was so respectful. So glad to hear that. Um, uh, I actually, so like, Franco, I, I remember at one point, I don't know which day it was, maybe it was Wednesday or Thursday. I like, I, I was um, out and I came upstairs and it was like, It was like, you know that, does everyone know that scene from Lord of the Rings where like, you know, they're about to take the, decide what to do with the ring and everyone's like, like at that kind of in that courtyard looking at the ring, deciding what to do. One day you had like Morpho and, and Ipor and Contango and like, you know, some other people in DeFi all around um, the main table upstairs and they were like in the most intense conversations about like derivatives and strategies and like how to execute this and futures and this and I'm like I mean I was tried listening for about seven minutes I, I didn't want to bring the IQ down at the table so I left but like also just couldn't understand it but like they were talking about some really intense stuff and like I don't know the actual impact that that had like long term but like they they were going at it for like few hours um on one of the days and it was very intense and it was it was amazing um yeah i don't know just to kind of give you guys a, a flavor of of you know what it was like uh during the week but yeah that's kind of uh one of the experiences that i i definitely thought was was one of the best and that i saw 
love it. <laughs> yeah, I think that in a place like this, there's also a lot of diversity. I think that you can have really technical and, and maybe tough conversations if you don't have the profile of, of maybe this, this technical, uh, more oriented skills. But also I think that it's a place in which you can, you can connect with people from all over the world, that you can change visions, that you can, as Franco was mentioning, it's just really nice to have someone bringing some food from, from their country just to share with everyone and to connect with, and listen how is to, to, um, to know people from, from other places in the world and how does their experiences connect with yours so it's, it's also it's also a way for you to to learn not only web3 but 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 also to expand i would say your your mind and and your knowledge in many other ways so love it i love that we we already mentioned that this is a place that is situated in a, in a very political active as the essence of the web3 ecosystem we also mentioned that this is a place that does not charge for anyone to to sleep there or to stay there is an exchange of okay contribute in whatever way you can bringing to toilet paper living the the house that's that just better than the way that you found it first and and in this sense i know that you griff mentioned that actually the house really don't count with with the business model but then how how can we actually support the house? I would love I would love you to talk a little bit for the people that's here about ways to support from distance. How can we donate? What's the process? Um, yeah, tell me every everything about how to support the house. Yeah, I mean we do have to pay rent. Uh, we don't give it doesn't own the house. In fact, the uh, the rent is relatively cheap because uh, for the space size because it's an awkward setup it's like uh it's in a building that is going to be torn down one day and uh and it and we have like uh three floors in the building and uh but still rent is like 2500 a month or three thousand dollars a month depending on how, if you count all the utilities and stuff uh we do have two internet connections in the house and could even get a third if we wanted to make sure that the internet never goes down, even if they do crazy things. Uh, only, only, only goes down when we don't have power for the modems uh, because they cut the power for the block. These crazy, uh, the crazy infrastructure in Barcelona. But so we we do have these bills that we have to pay, and we are obviously on Giveth as a fundraising platform. And the coolest thing is that when you support Giveth. Uh, when you support a project on Giveth, like the Giveth House, you get Give Tokens back. So even if you sub your donation to the Giveth House, if you if you have the financial ability to donate, is actually subsidized by Give Tokens. And and it's crazy, you know. Like you can go find the Giveth House on on uh, on on Giveth Giveth.io uh, just by searching for Giveth House. It'll it'll pop up. And uh, when you donate, if you donate, you know, a hundred dollars, you'll get up to seventy-five dollars given back to you in give tokens. Uh, and those those tokens, if the give token price goes up, you could even make more money than you donated. How crazy is that, right? So, uh, yeah, definitely, um, that's the easiest way to support us is by. You know, anywhere in the world, you can send crypto either on mainnet or Gnosis chain to the Giveth House project and uh, on Giveth.io. And mm, let's see. I mean, the but honestly, our favorite ways of getting support are improvements to the house. You know, taking on some responsibility. You'd be like, you know what? The, you know, the, it would be so nice to paint a mural. Like, there's this amazing mural that uh, people who've stayed at the house before painted and other people added on to it. It's kind of been like a collective art project where 
you know, first the people come and they, they paint and then they go away and then other people come and they paint and they go away. You know, cool things like that are so nice and they make this space, they give the space this extra quality that, um, you know, is really nice. I mean, if you throw a sauna party, you know, that's, that's also contributing to the house, invite some friends over, buy a few pizzas and, and or, or whatever, some t- brings, get some tapas delivered and have a sauna party and enjoy, you know, uh, Uh, And then make sure everything's clean at the end. Like anything that you want to do to contribute to the house, we're very open and uh, we love it. You know, Uh, there's so many good stories of people that have enjoyed the house and and we just want to make more good stories. I want to hear one of those stories. (laughs) I would love if you could, if you can, if you could share maybe like a really cool moment that you remember that was significant uh, to you. And I would love to hear from everyone else's, but starting with you, Griff, a really nice story that just got in your heart, in your heart stuck around the house. I mean, <laughs> I see the token engineering commons account here and uh, it was a pretty magical moment um, when a lot of the, everyone who could from the TEC community came, came to the giveth house and launched the their economy there you know it was it was a launch party and so um it was you know it's a very complicated launch the token engineering commons has a bonding curve and you know all this interesting uh conviction voting and all this interesting there was so much interesting build up to this moment because the whole community came together to collectively design the economy and a very complex economy. And so to have all of these TC members there, uh, when the button was pushed to launch the bonding curve and we started seeing people actually use it, or actually, I guess it was the hatch to launch the fundraise for the hatch. And, uh, and then we see people using it and, and it was, uh, and money started rolling in and we did the community call from the kitchen and I opened a bottle of champagne and sprayed it at everybody. And it was this big victorious moment. You know, it felt like we won, we won the world cup or something. Uh, and, it, and then we all, uh, got to, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. And of course, before that, it was like you know how launches are in web three it was days of you know not sleeping and working until four in the morning and then waking up at seven in the morning to keep going uh and so it was just uh it was just a magical time and Love but it. i'm sure there's other better other great stories i bet i haven't heard from Moffer in, in, a, in a in a bit i don't know mafia are you uh do you have any good stories from the giveth house Uh, yeah, definitely has to be the, um, this last summer, uh, we received basically 99% of our trusted seed and common stack family. And I, I arrived, uh, a bit early. So I got to, uh, I got to meet you, Griff, for the first time and Lauren and all the give uh, team too. I got to meet, uh, Almond. Uh, well, again, because I, I didn't see her until uh, since, since uh, Rio. But it was like, a, for me, it was like Christmas for one week <laughs> as everyone was coming. I think every time we opened the door and every time I, I, I got a, a hug from from people from our team, was it was like Christmas, uh, especially uh, receiving uh, people, uh, our co-workers and from the Philippines that we would thought like, oh, we might not uh, meet each other, <laughs> right? And we will be in uh, through a, a screen by a video calls. But then they arrived and it was like, like Christmas morning. It was perfect. And definitely being uh locked outside <laughs> my survival skills <laughs> were <laughs> uh, uh were on peak for that moment of being locked outside outside <laughs> uh in the in the hallway but uh, i have tons of good memories for me every single day was a good memory um because of the special people i met there and uh i still uh talk to everyone who was my roommate there uh as brothers and sisters uh, as franco says like franco for me is my brother and and we talk uh, every now and then sam septi 
uh, we um, even with Mitch now we have this this Web three gaming uh, space that we also like. I was playing FIFA with uh, with Septi. Like I have many many stories, um, and and yeah. But for me, what would be the, this last summer was perfect. Was com- completely perfect. Love it. Um... I love this. I love that, of course, it's really important to cover sometimes the technical aspects of Web3. But listening to, to you guys, to these stories, is just to, to I, I love that it gets highlighted, the the emotions and the human part of, of Web3. Franco, how, how about you? Um, I would love to, to listen to some meaningful moments and then I would yeah. love to go with Jason Tadeo. Go ahead. So I think it's a, a different, like a little bit different for me because I live here like 24/7, and and it's difficult to like put a pin on like special moments. But yeah, definitely like when Maffer was here, just waking up and like waking up to her making arepas or like the the Eat Barcelona like moment. It was uh, was pretty intense for me to see all of a sudden like. Uh, 20 people here plus like 10 more coming over to co-work and like see the house like, exploded with people during the gathering also happened something like this it was like okay all of a sudden it's like 30 people at the house I, I guess like every week it's kind of different like uh, now we have someone uh, staying here from who works with Iden3 which is also like a, a company that it's very close to, to give it. And like meeting people all the time, it's just like, that's like the magic to me, you know, kind of like living here, I get like, I have this great opportunity to just like uh, meet very different kind of people that work in different like uh, spaces, in Web3 spaces, even like not Web3 spaces. There's also people that come here because they know someone from the give it team or know someone from, the blockchain for good community and they come here maybe they're they are not very familiar with the the whole like web free space and you you get to be that person who explains to them you know so i think that's like the magic for me like living here uh it's difficult to like select just one so i select all of them <laughs> <laughs> love it thank you and and how about you jess and today what what was one of your favorite moments that happened at ETH gathering. I saw a really nice picture of you and in the terrace with with all the people there. I think that also that's a favorite spot from from everyone to to get to know the house. What would be one of your favorite moments that that you really enjoy? Um well definitely for me one of them was being at the Giveth House and seeing like the um, the intensity and passion that people were were throwing at, at different DeFi strategies. Um, apart from that, um, on a personal on, on a personal level, um, there was a so there were, I would we had three hundred and fifty attendees at uh, ETH gathering, and you know today like fully transparent today and I were both working full time and it was just it got to be quite stressful and at one point I just looked at at Franco and I'm like do you have a cigarette and like I don't usually smoke and it was just the best um that was definitely a special moment definitely needed one he was definitely there to give so thanks for the give uh Franco um but that and just be have you there's a gnome upstairs that's also like that was also my favorite thing there's like some really interesting there's there's a cat painting on the fridge um upstairs as well um there's just some very quirky interesting things and it's just it kind of gets your brain going so um yeah i would say that for me what about you today um i think it was similar to you but it's more of like eavesdropping on people's conversations um it was super interesting how at, at the end giveth the experience at giveth house was really the epitome of what we were trying to achieve with eth gathering um so while we were working on like finalizing the last few details of the conference itself and doing for the weekend it was really nice seeing it come alive 
uh, the Gibbet house. Uh, so seeing people, I know like the um, the team at Morpho was doing were doing their own um, kind of brainstorming sessions um, throughout the house. Uh, then you see them interacting with someone from uh, iPod, for example, and then you just jump into a chat. That that kind of um, community uh, feeling was uh, was great to see um, can become materialized. Of can course, I, yeah. Can I add something to Tadeo? Uh, what 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 I remember, uh, Tadeo brought every morning at nine a.m. fresh croissants, which also was a magical moment. It was like so happy. I was like, hmm, that's croissant for later. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that for all the people that's listening, you now have a tip to to get into into Franco into Franco's heart. So <laughs> just um yeah. I, I would also love to share one of my favorite moments. I remember that um when I was actually staying at the Giveth house, I was not part of the Giveth team officially. I mean just in my heart, but not officially. And then I needed to change rooms because um, the one that I was uh, at, it was going to get occupied by, by, by a couple. So I needed to change. So I remember that just Heather that's in charge of HR here in, in Giveth and, and the Giveth Galaxy told me to move with, with the girls. And it was just such a nice moment as uh, Maffer that's here with us and Ashley and Danny Bell and just the girls uh, received me with, with really, really warm and just welcome me in their room that's that's full, full of uh, full of beds. I, I think that's actually the, the, the biggest room in, in the whole house. So just feel supported with this uh, girl vibes gang. It was it was really cool for me. So. Yeah, I would say that's one of my favorite moments. And I would love to to just start closing this space with any final comments, with any final thoughts. I would love to know how can we support Yes and Tadeo with uh, any next ETH gatherings events. And I will also would love to just thank everyone to, to be here and to talk about maybe the Gibbous team perspective and also some partnerships as they eat gathering to, to know that we all can contribute together and that we can all just uh, support this Web3 effort as a community. So, Griff, Franco, any final thoughts that you would like to add around the house, future plans, um, or anything that you would like to close this space with? Sure. I would just say, you know, the best thing you can do is come to the Giveth House and enjoy yourself, and uh, that's that's really where we want, uh, you know, it's about building community and building building friendships and connecting people in real life because we live in such a digital space, uh, and we're it's it's so many like Discord DMs and and uh, you know video calls. It's just a uh, it's just a different level to work together in person, and we're just really happy to you know, share our space with you. So if you're here listening to this and you ever want to come to Barcelona, Franco is the man to talk to and, and we can, we can uh, help you make, make it a really homey, homey time. Uh, you, do you want to take it, Franco? Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Like just come, come to meet the give it house, like see the space. It's an amazing space. And yeah. And I hope, uh, I think this is space, like a great opportunity for the community to, to come and enjoy it and and for me to like make it evolve as well because I think that uh, it has a lot of potential for for creating like new things and and yeah sharing the space with the community and and I don't know like it just be a space for creation so hopefully I can I can make it grow more even Do you want to close with something dear Maffer? Are you cool? Well, yeah, as Griff said, uh, the best way to 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 live this experience is going there. Uh, I 100% <laughs> recommend the experience because it's definitely a full experience. Uh, I think 80% uh, of what I know about Web3 and um, blockchain and Ethereum and the history of everything 
I learned uh, in the Giveth uh, house uh, walls and from people who was there coding or uh, supporting and creating and building. So um, that would be my message. Like the Giveth house is where you go learn, share, live and um, and just be yourself and, and make the most amazing connections in your life. Um, that's the Giveth House for me. Uh, please donate uh, because we need the Giveth House. Um, everyone should should have the Giveth House uh, at least one second in their lives, and hopefully, I I, I wish we can we could clone Franco <laughs> and put him in several <laughs> Giveth houses. But but yeah, uh, that's my invitation and support the Giveth House Giveth uh, project and and everything thank you for having me thank you for coming and and especially because it, this was kind of improvised so thank you for just joining and talking and hanging out with us Jess Adele how can we support this gathering how, where can we find you where can we participate or, or collaborate with you so um, we haven't quite recovered from this year quite yet but moving forward like definitely any support on our social media reaching out if anyone actually has any ideas for next year to make it better or they want to contribute in some way or they have any ideas you can find myself or today on twitter you can find you'll i mean you could just reach out to the eth gathering to eth gathering through the website and we'll definitely get back to you um and i mean i guess the thing that uh, you know it's always open for you to participate. So if you have some something that you want to test out or try out or an idea, like we, you know, we'd love to support you um, with that inside of, you know, bringing people together and um, in this kind of third space for people to connect and innovate and share and, and, you know, have healthy debates and arguments about how we're going to build a better future. Um, and I just really want to acknowledge and thank, um, well, we really want to acknowledge and thank, uh, you know, the space that you guys have created is really magical and a, a place where you don't need to have an exchange of like monetary money in order to be there is, is one that's pretty rare these days as life gets more expensive and just really appreciate you guys opening um, the Giveth House to us Um And uh, I hope that many other people have the, get to have the experience we have by having more events at the Giveth House.